have entitled my sermon my by my sharing as uh, you know searching for a donkey and finding god so this uh, the simple passage that we find in first samuel chapter 9 verses 1 through following if you read to the next chapter you will find out how god actually is looking for the king to anoint him it's just just that you know we have the people of judges before samuel and uh, the people were now disgruntled and uh, people were you know telling oh we want a king we want a nation we want to be ruled by other people and so that we can you know kind of conquer the whole you know land and all that and be be a nation you know but god said no i'm your king but people were you know, relentless they said no we need a king so this is exactly what happened saul is just a simple man something about him in verse first samuel chapter 9 verse 1 and 2 Kish had a son named Saul, as handsome a young man. There's nothing much about Saul, but here, very handsome and ta- a head taller than anyone else. So there's a physical description of this guy. But then he knows nothing about what God has in store for him. So what what happened was the his father had lost his donkeys. I mean, I'm not rid- ridiculing any animal here. but i'm just telling you that donkey stands for something very stubborn something that is very lowly something that is not you know not very dear or not very royal so uh, king saw uh, saul's uh, father had lost the donkeys and he was searching for it two days and they could not get it and the bible says you know he says that they did not find them so uh, they they went from one district to another you know so saul said to his servant come let's go back in verse 5 Oh my father will stop thinking not will stop thinking about the donkeys and start worrying about us. But the servant said no no come let's go. In verse 6 there is a man of God and he is highly respected and everything he says comes true. Let's go there and perhaps he will tell us what way to take. What I want to tell you this morning is my brothers and sisters you know in our life we do not know what God has planned for us. A huge a big future and a big destiny for us. but we are looking at the simple things of life the the nitty gritties of life and we are bothered by that you know searching for donkeys and i mean we're worried about life and we're about what tomorrow will bring that kind of thing is going on in Saul's life uh, in Saul's life okay and sometimes when we want to think about god the reason why you turn to god is because you want to become rich or you want healing or you want this and you want that it's all about our desire not about god so this is a problem sometimes you know i'm not telling that we we need not crave for healings i'm not telling that we should not you know uh, do things that uh, that will prosper you i'm not telling that but that should be not the main criteria for looking at god or seeking for god so we're looking at the donkeys and searching for donkeys in our life but if you look following okay and then it says saul said to his servant if we go in verse 7 but i have no more money to give you and we just have a small food that the less amount of food that we have and we're worried to meet god we don't have money we don't have this i my, my hands are not clean my heart is not clean but god said come to me all you with you know heavy laden all of you who are heavy laden and i will give you rest we don't think that i mean people who go to church don't go to church with clean hands you go with dirty hands and then you you know you come out with clean hands that is how it is that is how the church works so basically what happened is if you look at verse 17 and following you will find out that god was already preparing prophet samuel to go and anoint the king so you will read as you go and read okay even though you are worried about the you know simple things about life and things like that i think god has a wonderful plan for us we may be searching for donkeys but your destiny when like Saul became a king that is the best thing that we can get from God a simple lesson and a thought provoking thing, thing that I wanted to tell you this morning okay and after that if you look at verse 17 when Samuel caught sight of Saul the Lord said to him this is the man I spoke to you about he will govern my people looking for a donkey and you got your whole destiny you got a whole kingdom ahead of you i think if we if we search even if we don't search i'm not telling Don't search for God but even if we don't God has a plan for all of us like he had for Saul. So God bless us. May we continue to lean on God for all our endeavors. God bless us all. Thank you.